Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the read code question plus one. Okay, so let me explain with this example 123. So this question is very easy, right? All we have to do is just calculate the addition. So for example, 123, and if we add 1 to 123, we will get 124. So in this case, uh, we change number at one's place and from 3 to 4, right? So we do the same thing for this question. So that's why I think it's a good idea to iterate through from the end. And then um, in this case, we just add one to uh, one's digit, one's place. So all we have to do is just return 124. This is an easy case. But actually there is a edge case. So for example, uh, nine, nine. So we get uh, uh, this array as an input array. So in the case, so we do the same thing, iterate through from the end. So if we add one to uh, one's place, so this place will be zero, right? And then um, problem is we have carry for next digit here. And then um, one plus nine equal 10, right? So this number will be zero, right? And then again, we have carry one, and there is no number here, so that's why in this case, we should return like 100, 100. From this example, um, the condition should be um, digit and uh, i plus 1. So current number plus 1 is not equal 10. So if we meet this condition, um, this is a very simple case, right? All we have to do is just add plus 1 to one's place and return it. So this case. If not the case, for example, 99, so if we add one to one's place, that is 10, right? So in the case, we don't meet this condition. So next algorithm should be very easy. Just update current place with zero, right? So di equal zero. And then, um, so we have carry, right? So that's why uh, we repeat this process again. And then, um, Again, current number is 9 and uh, plus 1. So at first, this plus 1 is just a plus 1. And then now, uh, this plus 1 means uh, this carry. So uh, we use uh, this one. And uh, 9 plus 1 is 10, right? Um, and then we don't meet this condition again. So that's why I put it current place with 0. So 0. And then now, actually, uh, we reach index 0, right? So we can't iterate through again. So that's why, actually, uh, there is condition here. If current index equal 0, so uh, we stop iteration, and we have to return the, uh, um, this 100 array. But uh, we, now we have 0, 0, right? And uh, um, so if we reach um, the, this algorithm. So that means um, current place is 10, right? Because we check this condition. So that's why uh, when we stop iteration, and uh, in the case uh, before we return, we should add one to the uh, first place. So that's why we should return oops, one plus um, this digit, so D digit. So this is answer. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. So for i in range, and uh, we iterate through from the end, right? So length of uh, digit minus one and minus one and minus one. And then if um, digit and i so current number plus one is not equal 10. in the case this is a simple case so digit and the current place um, plus equal one and then just return digits easy right if not the case update current place with zero and then if uh, we reach index zero uh, all we have to do is return and uh, add one to the first place 
plus digits. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n. So in the worst case, um, we iterate through from n to index 0, right? So that's why um, order of n. And the space complexity is, I think, uh, 01. We don't use an extra data structure. Just update um, digits. So that's why 01. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with your actions, such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.